In Octogon, Switzerland, tens of thousands of asylum seekers have disappeared and vanished into thin air. And only in the year 2012, 3,000 vanished. Seeing the reality and Switzerland collaboration with the Nazis and even financing the Nazis and giving them Red Cross passports to escape through the red line to Argentina and Spain, it must be assumed that the Swiss murdered all these refugees and burned their bodies as in Auschwitz. Or does anyone think that thousands of refugees just left Switzerland after having paid enormous sums for their dangerous and long voyage into the promised land. No, not really, did they now? And in Switzerland it is impossible for an immigrant to hide or stay low because the Swiss survey all immigrants, call up the police all the time and where you can't live anonymously as in Paris for instance. So, though these guys are definitely not in Switzerland anymore, or at least not alive. With all those incessant ID controls on immigrants by the Swiss Nazi police and Swiss neighbours keep an eye on everything what's going on. I already gave you the proofs of how the Swiss are building three large concentration camps. They show all immigrants like uh, in the streets with, uh, as all sorts of animals and of tortured detention centers in Switzerland where many immigrants were murdered and how the Swiss Nazi police lies to put immigrants in prison upon orders by the Swiss Nazi justice departments. The police arrest you for nothing, takes you in the car and then people just disappear. This happened to tens of thousands and they tried it with me too. So this was in the newspaper yesterday, uh, August the uh, 19th, in this newspaper here, as you can read here, August 19th, 2013. And here you can read the whole story if you like. And if you don't understand German, just look at the numbers of how many people just disappeared in a country where nobody can disappear. And certainly not tens of thousands. They know everything. They control everything here. The neighbours, the, the authorities, everything. It's unbelievable. Yesterday, on August 19th, 2013, several Swiss ran over an Egyptian refugee on the Swiss motorway, where they're doing 130 kilometres an hour. The man probably ran for his life trying to get away from abduction by a Swiss murder squad. Uh, from Octogon. The young man died, of course, and the Swiss keep silent and pretend to know nothing, as usual. I mean, you don't run on a high-speed motorway in the dark unless you have, you have to, because you're very frightened of something and someone chasing you. Octogon and the Swiss are masters in perfect crime and are incredible in keeping tight through the Swiss Omerta of the world's greatest crime syndicate. So here you can see the whole article that was yesterday. Another one gone. So in order to avoid uncontrollable events like on the motorway they even force certain immigrants to live in bunkers high up in the Alps miles away from the nearest village where nobody can see what happens and where it's much easier to have them disappear with n nearby incineration facilities where no one will smell a thing so again this was in the newspaper when was that And, um, well, these are the type of Swiss Nazis who, uh, I mean, look at them. He looks very innocent, doesn't he? Uh, he looks a bit like Teflon Tony, doesn't he? But they're not innocent. Oh, no. Oh, no. So here you can read the proofs about the Swiss uh, torture detention facilities where it's green. 
but it's uh, there's talk about the uh, the torture of being of putting people in cells where there's no not enough oxygen being the O2T torture um, as in waterboarding even worse so this is how they make people leave Switzerland and if they don't want well they find other ways to do it by terror and um, by plainly murdering them code o2t is the deprivation of oxygen to a near life threatening degree which is the easiest to regulate in order to create slow death lift so I'll just punch pause if you want to read it there you go just punch pause this is what they're doing in Switzerland the home of the Templars Octagon Switzerland, Octagon, their business is death. 